Thank you for watching Enemy TV. Today is Saturday, 12th of November, 2022. Martin Scorsese at 80, Francis Ford Coppola, Steve McQueen and Woody Allen on the greatest director alive. He then finds himself back on the cross, and the camera has an amazing moment, a super Scorsesean push towards Jesus, waking him up, and waking us up, from the dream, and then finally he says, it is accomplished. The camera lingers on Jesus, and then, to show him ascend to the heavens, Scorsese does one of the most beautiful and profound cinema gestures ever conceived. Basically, he flickers the film, as if the film becomes a trip of light and is the way his Jesus goes to heaven. Photograph, Willie Sanquan, Envision, App, Scorsese's most lucid expression of love for his medium and his religion, Ari Aster The final 40 minutes of The Last Temptation of Christ are among the richest and most emotionally complex of any film I've seen. Willfully perverse, ambiguous in ways that persist in haunting me, and dense with wonders. But nothing beats the final moment of Christ's ecstatic death, it is accomplished during which the film rolls out of the camera, unleashing a flurry of heavenly, emulsive flares, accompanied by a wave of wailing mourners that gives way to Peter Gabriel's triumphant and rhapsodic final cue. Photograph, Arturo Holmes, Get ES for FLC, it is one of the most erotic moments in cinema ever, Luca Guadagnino for me, Scorsese's work is paramount and a point of reference I go back to constantly, for the incredible power and intelligence he's displayed throughout his career. Photograph, Maria Marati, Getty S. What could someone else's film teach a genius like me? Abel Ferrara sir it's right about your teacher time again. At least this time it's for a birthday and not a funeral. Please like and subscribe to Enemy TV below. We bring you the latest news through the power of artificial intelligence as it happens. Thank you for listening.